As all of you know, the lofted through ball is an absolute nightmare to defend against this year in FIFA 22. I've already taught you guys how to perform this. However, I have found another variation of this through ball, which in my opinion is just as overpowered. This is the lofted through ball with the driven variation in FIFA 22. Griezmann, three men around him and somehow find some space for another fantastic opening. The drive back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! It's a Absolutely ridiculous. The last to go on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest. We talked about this in FIFA. He's not here to make up the numbers. The overpowered, lofted, driven pass can be performed by holding down the L1 and R1 buttons and then double tapping the through ball button. Of course, that's triangle on the PS5 or it's of course Y on Xbox. And what will happen is the player will do a very driven but also kind of lofted through ball, which goes in the air. And I find similar to the lofted through ball, it locks on to the attacker and I find it's easy for them to control and for some reason, the defender has such a hard time defending against it that a lot of the time you can form the through ball and be in on goal to have a one-on-one -on -one opportunity with the goalkeeper. Now I find the best way to actually get yourself into situations to perform this through ball is of course by tapping L1 and that will actually make the attacker make a run and he will attempt to get in behind on the shoulder of the defense. As he is just on the shoulder of that defender is when you want to perform this through ball so that you time it right and that you do get this into the vicinity of the attacker. Now if you do it too early I find sometimes the defender will get there. If you do it too late of course, lads, the attack is going to be offside. However, if you do what he's just on the shoulder or just a little bit back from the defender, I find does lock onto him. He will run in behind and the actual trajectory of the ball will actually fly in a certain way that will connect onto the attacker's feet. Trust me, lads, I have scored a lot of goals with this technique and I've only just discovered it. But what I have found is it's very, very overpowered this year in FIFA 22, just like the regular lofted through ball where you hold in L1 and you double tap that through. Through, but that will see the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Smash a like, it helps me out a lot, and also subscribe if you want to see more tutorials throughout this year. And also, I'm doing tutorials on Instagram and TikTok. Go and check them out, lads. Links are in the description down below. We're in a new house with a new setup, and this is going to be our background for our videos here on in. I hope you guys did like this video as much as you liked the background, which I have worked on for you guys. But as always, I hope you have a good day. I'm out. Sayonara, au revoir, adios, salam, ciao, and goodbye.